Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert from Colorado is about to lose her gun themed restaurant, which by the way, has been in the red, it does not turn a profit. And it's kind of questionable that it's been operating regardless of that. But nonetheless, apparently her landlord is kicking her out, giving her the boot. What are the details? Well, Boebert said that she and her husband, Jason Boebert, had been surprised to receive a notice last week announcing that their lease would not be renewed. The building's ownership changed hands last month, she said, and now Shooters, super clever name for a gun themed restaurant, would either have to find new digs or shut down for good. Now, what happened here? First, I should note that changing owners is a complicated way of describing it because it's still within the same family, okay? So uh, the company that took over Shooter's building, um, that's Milken Enterprises, uh, was formed days before the purchase. The two men on the Milken Enterprises Incorporation documents, Mike Miller and Dan Meskin, run a cannabis dispensary, Rifle Remedies, which until 2019 shared a street address with Shooters. Shooters had cut its previous rent checks to Dan Meskin's father, Mike, who owned the building through Meskin Enterprises. So it's technically different owners, but it's the members of the same family basically. Now Boebert couldn't say or wouldn't say why they were suddenly being forced out of the building. She didn't explain exactly why her business was being kicked out. A person familiar with the arrangement said the property manager felt he had a moral imperative to close the business and had planned to lease the space to another restaurant. And look, as the owner, he does have the right to do it, right? If, if uh, this isn't the government uh, punishing her for her political speech, this see, the, these are capitalists, you know, these are people who own the building, and they're like, mm, we don't like what you're doing here. We want you out. Now, Shooters has marketed itself as a Second Amendment positive business, and get this, where waitresses open carry loaded firearms on their hips and serve up menu items like. Swiss and Wesson sandwich. Some of those waitresses, however, were too young to carry and a rare few chose not to, one former worker said. Good for that one former worker. But yeah, it's it's hilarious. Like they're having servers break the law when they're underage and not old enough to carry the weapons that they're carrying, loaded. Like it's, look, I'm not for either one of these situations, right? But. It's one thing to like have the aesthetics of a pro gun restaurant, right? Maybe they're carrying like toy guns or something that look realistic. It's something entirely different though, in my opinion, to like legit have loaded guns on you as you're serving food. Like what is the point of that? That's so incredibly irresponsible and stupid. But it's, I mean, it's Lauren Boebert, irresponsible and stupid is her, I mean, that's her name, it's in her name. Yeah. You know, what I was thinking about is like, why not have a book themed restaurant, right? <laughs> we, we could use that. Or maybe a restaurant where you get some free like vaccinations or people can get their blood pressure checked for free or checked for diabetes. Ida, come you on, really Ida. About I love pe- you, Ida. Ain't nobody going to that restaurant, Ida. You know <laughs> it. You know it, girl. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, it, it's. If you really cared about the people, because this is what that is supposed to be under the banner of caring about the people, the the what you care about is so. I mean, even people who have guns hopefully never have to use them. Well, why not? If you really want to have a restaurant that's themed after something with the best interest of the people, your constituency, why wouldn't you do something that could improve their lives? Yeah. It is to, She doesn't care about the people, she cares about the NRA checks. But let's have a little bit of fun while we help the people. So some suggestions. So an anti-homeowners association restaurant. Facts. Like you get to vent and carry out your hatred for the HOA. Like it'll help, you know, people need that emotional release. And I feel like maybe we have a restaurant that has that. <laughs> By the way, I'm kidding. All of these ideas are terrible. Uh, but but like I hear what you're saying, right? Like if you're going to use your private business 
which I don't think members of Congress should have, honestly, as they're supposed to be serving the people in general. But if you're if it's allowed and you're gonna do it, and you're gonna make a political statement through your establishment, why not make a political statement that doesn't translate to an insane amount of people getting killed on a yearly basis or you know, dying from suicide on a yearly basis because of how laxed we are with our gun laws. But but this is everything about politics right now isn't really about substance. I feel like most of it is about aesthetics. It's it's all about identity, right? And so when we talk about identity politics, it's always it tends to always be in the context of. Democrats wanting to represent specific groups of people, whether it's the black community, trans community, this and that. But no, let's not get it twisted. The right wing is all about ID politics all the time. They just focus on hating the various groups of people that are already you know, disenfranchised in society. That's what their identity is. Lauren Boebert's identity is I, I support guns at any and all circumstances. It's it's pathetic, and at the end of the day, it does nothing to serve anyone really. It just the only person it serves is Lauren Boebert for her campaigning purposes. Yeah, especially so fresh, you know, to be in the news for this, right? So close to those babies being slaughtered and people in Buffalo, like that, we are still like reconciling and dealing with. It just shows the quality of these people and how trash they are as human beings. You know, politics aside, just just like the people who would deny a trans kid a, a meal, like we have to be able to say that people are not good because this whole thing that everybody has good in them and and every nobody is bad is foolishness. Some mm-hmm. people are bad. If you are peddling guns to minors when you have watched so many minors die as a result of guns, you are bad. If you don't want to give a baby some food because they're struggling with identity, you are bad. Like, why can't we say that people are trash? Because these people are trash. Oh, I say it all the time. Don't you worry. I love telling people that they're trash. (laughs) They're garbage. They're garbage. And it's so. You know, and to make profit off the people, like you said, you shouldn't have these private businesses. You're already making money from the NRA. You're already making a salary based on the taxpayers' dollars. And now you want to, you know, you're taking a page out of the Donald Trump book. Make as much money as you can off of the vulnerabilities of the American people. Do it, do it, do it. The people are struggling. Let's make as much money as we can off of them. It's what we see in government all the time, unfortunately. By the way, Lauren Boebert's restaurant has lost $600,000 in total in just two years, 2018 to 2020. And that's according to Boebert's financial disclosures. And it appears to have struggled with annual tax obligations. Wow, what a shocker, including a number of liens totaling nearly $20,000. So I don't know, maybe getting driven out of this building is a convenient excuse for shutting down the restaurant. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. What did she think? She thought people from Texas were gonna drive there like it's Disneyland for gun people. They can't afford gas, lady. They can't know. afford gas to travel across the state lines. Who was gonna come to your stupid little restaurant with little kids right rolling around with guns on them? With loaded who, guns. Yeah, who wants, to, who wants to take that risk? Not anyone who has common sense. I should hope so. I definitely hope so. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.